Is it time to buy or sell canoe stock? Today, we're delving into canoe. Our initial report was released on Friday, March 22, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more in-depth analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of the game and stay informed about any developments that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Utilize the power of AI to receive free price predictions and thorough analysis for any of 25,000 companies globally today. Please be aware that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Since March 11, 2024, our system has identified Canoe as a buy candidate with a score of 1.71. Now, let's review the stock's performance during this specified period. Investors who followed our analysis would have experienced a significant gain of 138.44% since Canoe was first listed as a buy candidate 10 days ago. This equates to an average daily return of 13.84% since it was designated as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the upper part of a strong rising trend in the short term, presenting a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders. A break above the trend line at $4.37 would indicate a stronger upward movement. Over the next three months, there is a projected 87.31% change in the stock price, with a potential return ranging from minus 79.31% to 91.42%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend suggests a minus 0.93% change, with a possible return between minus 98.04% and 0.454%. This translates to a price range of $0.0841 to $4.30 after a year. The latest update on Canoe reports high volatility in Canoe Incorporated stock price, closing at $4.28 on Friday. On the last trading day, Canoe Incorporated stock price dropped by minus 1.38% from $4.34 to $4.28. The stock fluctuated 23.66% from a low of $3.72 to a high of $4.60. Despite falling in five of the last 10 days, the stock is still up by 100.94% over the past two weeks. Volume also decreased, a positive indicator as volume should align with the stock movement. Trading volume fell by minus 24 million shares on the last day, with a total of 22 million shares traded for around $96.18 million. In the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $4.81, and the lowest was $0.0800. Currently, the price is 11% or $0.529 below the 52-week high, and 82.81% or $20.62 below the all-time high on December 22, 2020, when the price hit $24.90. Analyst Ratings E.F. Hutton gave GOEV a buy grade with a hold action on Wednesday, November 15, 2023. R.F. Lafferty gave GOEV a buy grade with a hold action on Saturday, July 23, 2022. Analysts have assigned a general sell rating to Canoe's stock. They consider the P.E. ratio a strong buy and the price to book ratio as strong buy. The analysts have given the stock a strong sell rating for return on investment. Here are the identified signals for Canoe. The Canoe Incorporated stock has buy signals from both short and long term moving averages, indicating a positive outlook. Additionally, there is a general buy signal from the relationship between the two signals, with the short term average above the long term average. Support levels are seen at $2.99 and $0.88 cents during corrections. However, a breakdown below these levels may trigger sell signals. Moreover, a buy signal is present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals have also emerged, which could impact short-term developments. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Thursday, March 21, 2024, resulting in a minus 1.38% decline. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is identified. 
The decrease in volume along with the price decline on the last trading day helps reduce overall risk, as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 52 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 13 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 12 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 12 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 11 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Canoe On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level at $3.41 from accumulated volume. However, with no support from accumulated volume below this level, the risk is increased. A drop below the support at $3.41 may lead to a significant decrease in the stock price. This stock exhibits high volatility, with a wide prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, indicating very high risk. In the last day, the stock moved 88 cents between its high and low, representing a 23.66% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 38.45%. Let's start by discussing the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, which compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. A negative P-E ratio indicates either negative earnings or losses. While downturns can happen, persistent negative ratios may suggest financial challenges and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on, Canoe's next earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at minus $1.92, a figure worth monitoring as it could significantly influence stock prices. Let's explore potential day trading levels for Canoe. In an upward trend, Canoe faces its first resistance at $4.34. If you're not invested yet, consider entering after this level is surpassed. For current shareholders, this could be a target for swing trades. On the downside, the initial support for Canoe is at $3.41. If this support holds, it might be a promising entry point with hopes of a rebound. The consensus rating for Canoe from multiple analyst sources is sell. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On February 5, 2024, Diaz Debra bought zero shares. On February 5, 2024, Chen James Cheyenne bought zero shares. On February 7, 2024, Ruiz Hector M sold 745 shares of common stock. On January 24, 2024, Murthy Ramesh sold 1217 shares of common stock. On December 20, 2023, Etheridge Gregg bought 1,500,000 shares of common stock. After analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 87.979. Overall, Insiders purchased 102,506,835 shares and sold 46,151,265 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $4.12, representing a decrease of 3.85%. This stock exhibits significant daily movements, posing a high level of risk. With an RSI 14 of 84, the risk is further heightened. Additionally, a sell signal was identified from a pivot top just one day ago. Is Canoe stock a good buy? Our analysis indicates that several short-term signals, coupled with a positive overall trend, suggest that there may be a buying opportunity for Canoe Incorporated stock. We have upgraded our evaluation of this stock from a hold-slash-accumulate status to a buy candidate. Upon reviewing the volatility and movements from the previous trading day, our system suggests that the current price is overvalued. 
Looking ahead to trading on Monday, March 25th, we anticipate Canoe to open lower by dash dollar 0.0800 and commence trading at four dollars and twenty cents. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss, and it's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current stock analysis. Share your insights in the comments. What's your target price? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and happy trading from all of us at StockInvest. Have a wonderful day.